Hi guys, it has been so, that was really weird, guys. <laughs> it has been a while since I've like sat down to film a haul video for you guys. So many questions on what I got in Japan. If you haven't seen it already, go and check out my first sort of vlog video from Japan because I really try to make a video that's really interesting and that's a little bit more higher production value. I tried to make this vlog a little bit more interesting than just a regular like, here's me and my camera, you know, like follow me around kind of vlog. So I would really appreciate it if you went to go and check it out. I just wanted to try out something new and um, I wanted to get your feedback on if you like those kind of videos. Linked also in the info bar. So if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. Um, I bought this in Kyoto and I was in this store that had nothing but fans. That's like all they sold there. And I got this one. Isn't that so beautiful. I actually wanted to buy a fan that I would actually use because with summertime coming up, I feel like fans are such a great thing to have in your purse because it just provides instant relief. And this one is still small enough to fit in your purse, but it this one is actually made in Japan and it's like handcrafted and you could just see the beautiful artisanship or whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's just like a beautiful fan with a nice print. I love this color this blue and then the back is actually a nice color as well and it's kind of like shimmery i don't know if you can see that anyhow i really like this fan okay let's jump into a couple of beauty items let's start off with the big thing and that is i went to hakuhoto yes i did um, I went to the, actually the flagship Hakuhoto store, which is in Kyoto. I googled that before I went to Japan. I knew that when I was in Japan, I wanted to buy some brushes by Hakuhoto. These are just like the best makeup brushes in the world. Stop, stop, stop. Julia, what are you doing? This is a separate video, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tease you like that. I know you want to know about these brushes, but I have so much footage from the actual store that I want to show you. And I want to show you these brushes in detail. And I think it's really worth a separate video because this video ended up being way too long. So I'm going to have the Hakuhoto brush haul as a separate video. I'm gonna go into detail and I think that's gonna be a much better option. So let's get back to the rest of the haul. So I went into a, what is it called? Matsumoto Kiyoshi, which is basically like the Japanese CVS or DM drugstore. I know this is gonna be controversial, but I just wasn't that into the Japanese makeup that they release in Japan. Um, what I noticed is that a lot of the makeup there in the drugstore at least, and even like in the department store that I went to, is really glittery stuff. So that like a lot of the eyeshadows will have like really strong glitter in it and it'll be really sort of pastel -y colors. It's just a different market, I guess a different makeup style and I just wasn't really into it. But I did buy some lashes because lashes are huge in Japan. So I got this one. Now these are called Diamond Lash and there's one, two, three, four, five pairs in here. And they look really cute. They sort of look anime, but they also look really nice and fluttery and I can't wait to try these out. Then I got the Spider Liner by Kate. Now Kate is another really popular brand it is basically a liquid eyeliner, super sharp liner, and they are really big on liquid liner and getting that like perfect wing. This brush is like a proper brush. I hate felt tip liners. I can't stand them. So this one has like a proper brush and the liner looked nice. Like it looked easy to control. So there's that liner. And the other thing that I really wanted to stock up on in the uh, drugstore there is sheet masks because Sheet masks are also huge in Asia. Pure Smile Royal Jelly Essence Mask. I don't know, it looks like honeycomb or something. This one was, I think, only like $1. And this one, like, I don't even know what it is. Like, I know it's a sheet mask, and I think there's 10 in here. I have no idea what the effect is. Um, yeah, it says 10 here, so I'm thinking there's 10 masks in here because this is like a big package. And then I got this one. This one is called Lulu Lun 7 Days. And it looks like that. And again, there's multiple sheet masks in here. I can't read anything, but this was a brand that they had a few different ones in different colors. I'm guessing they all had different effects since I couldn't read it, I just picked purple. And then I got this one, the Pure Smile Milk Essence. This is just a single one. I think this was only like one. And this is, this is the funniest one. It's called Will You Be a Cat? Also by Pure Smile. And they had all these hilarious sheet masks that have like prints on them. So when you put it on, you look like a, an Egyptian warrior or you look like a cat or you look like a dog and I just thought that was hilarious. Can you see that 
cat with the holding like a tuna fish or something in its mouth. So when you put this on, um, yeah, it even has, it's so cute. Look, it has like the picture of the kitty cat putting on the mask and then you're gonna have like a cat print on your face. So when I put this on, I will be sure to post a picture on Snapchat. So follow me on Snapchat if you wanna see um, when I use that. And I did go into a high-end department store where they have makeup as well and I think it was called Cebu. And I wanted to get some Shu Amora. I have owned Shu Amora before, so I got this uh, foundation by Shu Amora. Apparently this is new. It's called the Light Bulb Fluid Foundation and Sponge. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like 40 bucks or something like that. So it's a high-end foundation. But what I liked about it is, first of all, they came in amazing color range. Oh my God. Like. I wish I lived in Asia just for the color range of foundations that they have because they had the really light shades. Yeah, this is like a, a glowy type of foundation. So it has a pump applicator. I think there's 30 milliliters in here, kind of like the standard. Oh, it's only 27. Ooh, you're like robbed of three milliliters of product because the standard is 30 mils. This is the shade 375 Light Amber Plus. And with that foundation, like in that box, so you get the foundation and then you also get a sponge. So it's actually like sort of like a beauty blender, but the shape of this one's kind of different. I guess it's supposed to look like a light bulb. <laughs> so the sponge you get is like that. And it does seem to be like really fine, like a really nice quality sponge. You get that with the foundation, which is pretty cool. Cause otherwise you have to buy this separately and like beauty blenders are like what, 20, 20 bucks or something like that. But this looks really great for stamping like that. So I can't wait to try out this foundation. I haven't tried it yet. And the other thing of course I had to get from Shu Amora is the iconic eyelash curler. So it's the eyelash curler and one silicone refill pad. Now I've already used this. I have been using this. Basically when I got it, I started using it. This is kind of like a classic iconic product from Shumora. It's one that they're really known for. Yeah, this works great. Honestly, I have used this a bunch of times and it really curls my lashes like super nicely. I love this, no complaints, so really happy with this. Now the other thing that I got in Japan was a bunch of snacks and foodie type stuff. I got a whole bag of it. Um, because I just, you know, I love Japanese food and I wanted to try out a bunch of their like weird candy and like things that they have that we can't get here. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos um, before I went to Japan and I heard a few people rave about this like pasta sauce that you can get in Japan. This kind of creamy pasta sauce and it has cod roe, so like fish eggs in it. And then they sprinkle seaweed on top. And I've heard that in a few YouTube videos from like Japanese vloggers that this tastes like amazing. Um, so <laughs> I just wanted to try it. So I got a couple of those and I got another one. This is tarako cream. Yeah, I think it's called tarako um, pasta sauce. And then I got this entire bag full of random like candy and snacks and stuff. And I honestly never would have bought this much candy, but I am planning on doing a Japanese candy Candy taste test type of video. I'll probably do that on my German speaking channel. So I got the green tea Kit Kat that I had to have, of course. So the green tea Kit Kat, but then I got like all these other things, which like some of them, I don't even know what it is. Well, this one is, it's matcha pocky. A lot of you guys are probably know pocky. This is matcha, so it's also with green tea. Um, and I got something else, green tea. Like, I don't even know what this stuff is. Um, I just picked like weird packaging, like the weirdest kind of packaging I could find um, because I just, I just want to try something like really strange, like what? <laughs> Everything's green. Yeah, just like random candy. I just went into like a, um, like a convenience store, like a, they have 7-Elevens there and I just picked out like the weirdest looking stuff I could find. So I will be doing a Japanese candy taste test kind of video and I'll do that on my German channel. So if you aren't subscribed, go and subscribe if you speak German. It was what I was actually looking for was a, it's called a happy coat and it's written H-A-P-P-I. And it's basically like a house coat that you would wear like a bathrobe. This is a little bit difficult because I've got my microphone here so I don't want it to rub. Um, but basically it's huge. Like first I was thinking I'm going a size down but the size down was a little bit too short for me. Now this one it hits just, it hits my, just above my knee because I'm so, tall, like I'd be considered extremely tall in Japan. So I had to go up a size because most Japanese women are tiny and it is made of cotton and that way I can just easily throw it in the wash. It comes with um, like a belt. So you can close it just like a normal um, bathrobe or whatever. 
have to wrap it fairly tightly. This is exactly what I was looking for. It has these kind of wide sleeves and it's just really light and airy. I love this for summer. And what I really wanted was something that was made in Japan that wasn't made in China or something. So it is made in Japan. And the print is like these two, I don't know if they're supposed to be geisha or geiko. They're, they're not actually called geisha in Japan. This is another thing. They're um, geiko and maiko. So maiko is a like tra in training below a certain age. And then geiko is like a full-fledged geisha. So geisha is kind of not really the correct term, but anyway. And it's easy to care for because usually the real kimono is made of pure silk. You can't you can't throw it in the machine, obviously, so you have to hand wash. And this was just a much more sensible option. It's like really good quality. Like the material is really nice cotton and the print is beautiful. Can you see that? I think it's such a nice print. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There will be more Japan vlogs. If you missed the first one, you can go and click on it right now and check it out. And um, also follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and Twitter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.